Hey, it's great to see you. I appreciate you hopping on and listening to this quick message from me. Really, before we get into anything, I just want to tell you a little bit about why I'm doing this and really why I've spent all of these years creating this agency in the financial industry and switching from mechanical engineering and doing all of that stuff because I don't know if we've really had a chance to have this conversation. So I wanted you to hear it directly from me because, uh, you know, I, I grew up, I had background in mechanical engineering. I was going to school. I was doing all that stuff for the county. Uh, I started working on cars, did the uh, building race cars, all that stuff. But the reason why I shifted into the financial industry was really because through that process of creating the business and, you know, going through everything I went through with engineering, I realized I didn't know very much about money and I just kind of started to help myself and I wanted to get out of debt, I wanted to start saving money, I wanted to know how to do those things. And what was interesting to me was nobody I really knew, none of my friends or my family really had any insights on how to do any of that. And the more I talked to people, the more I realized nobody really knew how to do any of that. It was purely research-based for me in the beginning because I just wanted to know how to do some of those things. And so I ran into this company almost Man, it's been 10 years now that I've been working with this company and I was a client first. So they, like I said, they helped me get out of debt. They helped me save a bunch of money. One of my neighbors was actually working with the company and I was just so impressed with the level of respect that he treated me with, how he helped me with those things. He didn't judge me on anything. He just kind of started showing me ideas and giving me books to read and things to start increasing and in learning in different areas of my financial life. And what was interesting was everything that he told me ended up being true everything you told me ended up bettering my life and so after three or four years of that I really thought about where I was in life and what I wanted out of it and that although with the performance shop I could make hundred and fifty two hundred thousand dollars the challenge was I had to work all the time my body was breaking down uh, I still have back issues to today uh, my lower back is terrible because of you know all the working conditions and the chemicals and all that stuff that I really had to endure and you remember I would show up and we'd have probably talk to each other and I didn't own a suit or or any of those things so you're probably seeing a lot of changes that have happened over the last 10 years I just kind of want to share some of that with you and I appreciate you coming on this journey with me but ultimately the reason why I switched the reason why I got out of all of the things that I was doing was because I didn't see long term that being able to be a, a successful life most of the people that were in engineering most of the people that were in race cars they didn't live a great life yes they could make a bunch of money they had a career that they loved but their ability to be able to actually keep their marriages and keep their relationships with their kids and build their spiritual life was nearly impossible. So I was trying to find something that gave me all of those opportunities. And so while I was coming in learning and, and coming to the financial classes and doing all of that stuff, what had happened was I started running into the people and talking to the ones who had been here for 10, 20, 30 years. And what was interesting was the people who ran this office, they were making quarter million, half million dollars a year. But more importantly, I would show up in the middle of the day on my lunch break or something, and they would just leave in the middle of the day to go watch their daughter's softball game. And that was so foreign to me. That's that's not anything I'd ever seen growing up. I didn't know anybody who could do that. Uh, so it was something that I wanted to learn how to do. And so I just started taking some of those steps and I kind of jumped into it probably faster than I, than I should have. I, uh, kind of cut off all my sources of income and just jumped into the industry right off the bat, which I don't know if that was the best way to do it, but I'm so thankful now that I was able to be able to do that. And now we've built a tremendous agency. We've got lots of people that we're working with, uh, and the company is fantastic. They've got 50,000 licensed agents. We're in all 50 states, Puerto Rico and Canada. And the more I've been around the environment, the more my life has changed, the more it's gotten better. And so I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out to kind of hear a little bit about why I did that. And the, the main reason for me was I just wanted to be a great husband and I wanted to be a great father. And I couldn't see the likelihood of being able to do that was so low. I just couldn't see it. I, I knew that I was probably going to end up miserable and then I would take that home to my spouse and my kids and I just didn't want that. So I was willing to kind of screw up everything in my life for quite a few years to really be able to get things back on track. I had to redo a lot of things and reorganize a lot of stuff in my life to be able to have the ability to be able to do that. And so now as I'm starting to look into building a family and doing all of that stuff, this business has been is built and now will provide for that. My, on my mom's side, grandma passed away not too long ago and I was just so impressed with 
what she had done in her life and basically raising five kids on her own, taking care of my great grandmother and this lady in an era where uh, women didn't make a lot of money and she was working basically at a factory but somehow she amassed a pretty decent sized amount of money to leave to her five kids. I was just so amazed by that and all the stories that came out around this time of how she helped them buy their first home and how she helped take care of them when they had financial troubles and I always remember getting things like you know a couple thousand dollars here or there for my grandma and I was like man that's so amazing because amongst all of the grandkids and all the great grandkids and it was just amazing that to me that somebody could do all of that and and still be willing to give and how much she gave to different charities and all those things it was just really beautiful to me and the process of her passing away and how she had everything in place and she had her will and trust and she kept track of who borrowed money and who paid it back and all of those things I was so amazed I had never seen somebody especially because I, I didn't think that she necessarily had a lot of money she lived in the same house for 60 years probably she didn't ever have a new car she wasn't didn't want to do any home improvements or anything like that so I was just really blown away nobody in my family is going to be able to replace her nobody has the capacity like I do to be able to be that person who can handle everything the way that I can and so that's what I'm putting together here is I want to be the resource for my family that if anything God forbid happens to my mom or my dad or my sister or, or any of my family that I'm able to have those time the time and resources to be able to to take care of that and then on top of that I've been able to give to charity and I've been able to do a lot of things and be able to do missions and all of that I was just blown away and I've, I've I felt like I was giving a lot but I realized that I need to increase my capacity and I need to increase my resources and my time so that I can do more of those things. And so I appreciate you coming on this journey with me and I just want to share that with you on uh, on why I'm doing this. I don't need a Ferrari. I don't need a lot of those things. They're not a desire for me in the beginning. I thought it was money, but in reality, I just, I love what we do so much. I see the, I love the way it changes families' lives. I love walking out of a client's home and they're crying and they're just so thankful that in a couple of hours they went from this position of no hope and being completely desperate and no faith and they had lost their dreams and within a couple of hours I can help them reposition some things and now all of a sudden they're able to dream again and you see the light the the color come back in their face and they're just so grateful and I'm literally getting chills as I talk about it they're so grateful for what my team or what I have put together for them and uh, the text messages and the responses I get back from that is just that's been the greatest fulfillment I've ever had in my life and the way my agents are growing and developing in their life and how I've been able to get them into church and grow their faith life and grow their family life and help them become better people and so I just wanted you to know that up front really before we get into anything because uh, my experience through this is a lot of people have called me a lot of things or said that I was money hungry or whatever it might have been and so I just wanted to clear that off the table and, and give you an understanding of why I'm doing it and why it means so much to me and I again I, I really appreciate you taking some time out of your day to look at how you can help and what maybe you can contribute or how you can send referrals and really how you can help us build this into something great and so I really just wanted to make it more public and so you're going to see a lot of things coming out uh, for our team because of uh, the impact that we've been able to have with people and really the the things that we've been able to give back to and the lives we've been able to change and I, I just want to have a bigger presence with that so your help is appreciated both on um, people that you know that might be looking for a different career maybe they're they they make good money maybe they um, have things that they're already spending a lot of time and generally speaking the best people that I brought into the industry were already super busy they already had a million things going on but oftentimes they're so busy because they're trying to make money and so when we can show them a way to be able to make more money they're able to free up a lot of their time and so maybe you know somebody like that maybe you know somebody already making quarter million half million dollars a year that has no time and would like to invest that into something that in the end is going to give them more time and more freedom to be with their family or their faith and do a lot of those things and secondly maybe you'll know some people who could do better financially uh, 90 percent of the population doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name if god forbid something was to break down on their car they would have to turn to a credit card or some kind of debt to be able to pay for that and if that's okay with you that's fine but to me i see a huge problem there i think we need to be helping people 
be better financially. Why? That's what strengthens the home. Like you guys understand the way that we fix our country is not by voting. It's not by the who's the president and who's going to take care of us and all of those things. It's by fixing the family unit. And the main challenges that the family unit has is financial. And so if we can take away that stress, if we can take away the worry, if we can allow fathers and moms to be more present in the household and have more patience and understanding because they're not worried about money all the time. That's how we impact our community. That's how we make a, a difference in our society. It's not by all of the other stuff, stuff. It's not by buying a better car or a bigger house or fancier clothes. It doesn't do anything for people. Let's go fix some of those things. And so maybe you know some people who are making really good money, but they don't know what to do with it. Or people who are married and have kids and need to start putting some of these things in place and God forbid anything doesn't happen the way they expect them to. Or hopefully that it does happen and everything goes through the way they're supposed to, but do they have enough money saved to actually retire with some dignity? Or are they gonna have to go work at Walmart or uh, God, I don't know, live with their kids or whatever it might be. Or maybe they make it through all of that, but they didn't have a will or trust in place. And then the government comes in and takes half of it through pro like let's just go make sure our friends and family and our community uh, have this stuff together and maybe we save some marriages through that maybe we help some more kids go to college and maybe we just make sure widows and orphans when something happens to the breadwinner and the family they're actually taken care of and they're not kicked out on the street and so I challenge you I, I invite you to come on this journey with me whatever that capacity is that you can help I would definitely appreciate that and so again that's maybe people who could come do some work with us and want to a different career path or maybe they just want to help the community and teach them about finances or maybe they need to do something else and make a bunch more money or maybe they just want to do something part-time and earn some additional income whatever it might be I would love to be introduced to those people then on the client side people that we can go help change their financial lives or maybe uh, you know you have a connection into we own Southwest Airlines 401k and Red Bull and all the station casinos we run all of their stuff so maybe you know somebody like that that would like to uh, they have billions of dollars in a 401k that they might want to roll over. Maybe it's a small ma and pa company. We're going to be forced to open up 401ks here shortly where every company that has um, employees is going to have to have one of those. So maybe we can help them set up some of that stuff. Or maybe they have one already set up, but they don't know anything about it. Now they're supposed to every three years have that reviewed to make sure they're doing what's best because now those people who are running their 401ks for that company, or they're not running it, but they're overseeing it, they're now fiscally responsible for making sure they're doing research and, and keeping up with what's best in the industry. And if they're not doing that, they're basically the fiduciary, so they have legal responsibilities to be able to do that. Why not allow our team to come in there and help review some of those things every couple of years so they can see if they're actually doing the best for the people who are their employees who have their 401k. Um, maybe there's something that I, we can help you with. Maybe you just want to review on your life insurance because you haven't done that in a long time. Or maybe you want to review on your retirement savings and you want to know more about taxes and how to prepare for retirement and all the taxes and you don't want your social security to be taxed at 85% because you're making, you have too much money coming out of your 401k. Or maybe you need help starting your savings and getting something like that going. Uh, if there's something that we can help you with, we don't charge for any of that stuff. Most advisors charge $1,500 to $2,000 to do something like that. I'm not going to charge you for any of that stuff. I feel like my likelihood of success and for me to be able to come financially successful, that the people in my world also need to be successful financially because how am I going to get there by myself if all of these people around me need help and they're not getting any help? So let's do this thing together. If there's any of those aspects that, that I can help you with, I would love to be able to do that. I would love your help. I would appreciate any of your referrals, anything that you can give uh, or do to make this agency, this thing better. I would love to do that. Anything that I can do to help you, I would love to do that as well. If you have a business or a CPA firm or you're a real estate agent, whatever it might be, let's lock arms. I would love to have some people in the community who do a great job with stuff that I know I can trust my referrals to. We've got this agency of 30, uh, 30 people now. And so we're going to be up over a hundred by the end of the year. So we need lots of good people and lots of good resources in our community to give back to. So if you know people like that, those are great referrals as well. Or maybe you do something like that. Let's partner up. Let's do this thing together. Appreciate you. Thanks you again. This is way longer than I expected it to be, but I, I really wanted you to uh, feel my heart and I wanted you to know where I was coming from and that 
I think that's important in asking for help from anybody is uh, where's their heart at? What is it that they're really trying to do? And so I hope that gives you a feel of it. Thanks again for taking a little bit of time out of your day. You're going to see a couple more videos of really who we are, what we do, and how we do it, and why it's so important for our society. And if it's something that you can come alongside and something that you believe in, you think that people need to know more about, then I would really appreciate you being able to refer some people to us. And uh, again, thanks for your time.